Despite the massive devastation caused by the wildfires on November 8, 2018, the Paradise Alliance Church is still standing even though much of the community has been devastated. As members of Paradise have lost their homes and businesses, the church decided to open their doors to everyone in support for one another and the rest of the community. Wheelie Dinners is just one of the many things that the church has done. We've been doing uh, community dinners. This is our third one so far this month, and tonight we had uh, grilled breast of chicken with penne pasta with a choice of Alfredo or marinara sauce. In addition with that, we had a nice antipasto, Caesar salad, and a three bean salad. Of course, can't go wrong with bread, and for dessert, we have a nice selection we put out of fresh fruits, little mini chocolate eclairs. Of course, got to add the sugar with every meal. You know, I've been coming to the Paradise Lions Church for over 30 years. So, uh, as a follower of Jesus, it's in your DNA to want to serve. And food service and the other ministries we do fell right in line with that. Uh, we just love doing this. And there we're meeting the need. And these folks, some of them, they don't know who their neighbors are if they still have a home. So they're connecting and fellowshipping with each other. And if we can facilitate that, that's what keeps us going. You know, when it comes to community support and showing love and helping people, we don't check their credentials at the door. We're just open arms giving to them. So everybody gets excited about helping everybody up here because that's really what we're doing, being a blessing to our community. In addition to the weekly dinners, the church also gives out groceries for those struggling to find food. I have been a volunteer here at Paradise Alliance Church for the last 10 years. I've been running a closed closet and food pantry with our church for the last seven years, helping our community. And since the fire, we have currently shut down our closed closet and gave all of our all of that to a different resource center. Tonight at our community dinner we started giving away grocery giveaways. It's about thirty dollars worth of food for them to take in a bag and we give them our church service stuff in it. We have an amazing community here. I mean just amazing people that you wouldn't think you know have stepped up and I would like to help make sure everybody doesn't go hungry and don't go cold and you know. I came to work the day of the fire and we were working inside the church, me and another maintenance guy. We we're setting up tables and over our radios, um, my boss got a hold of us and said that there was a fire behind the church. We tried putting the fire out with hoses and fire started getting up into the canopy of the trees so we had four hoses we put sprinklers on them and just made like a fire line I went around the church and grabbed all the fire extinguishers we had I didn't allow anyone inside the church because of uh, the power being out and I didn't know if the church would catch on fire I was trying to fight it with fire extinguishers but really wasn't doing a whole lot. It was like using a squirt gun on it. I just remember just being frustrated, just, just asking God for help. Because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to fight it just with fire extinguishers. Paradise is going to forever be changed. Um, we've had to take a lot of, a lot of trees have had to be taken out. And the skyline looks a lot different, but I believe it's still going to be a, a beautiful place to live. For Media Milwaukee, I'm Dimitri Panagiotopoulos.